Let's talk about what I did in the last couple weeks. Nikon announced a new lens, a 58 millimeter f1.8 G. I gave you my first impressions of it in a video. At the end of this video though, I'll tell you where you can order it. I went to the Grand Canyon a couple of weekends ago, just for a day. And I posted a video where I showed you a bunch of photos and I even posted a raw image that you could download. I answered a few VIP questions in a VIP question of the day video. I also asked my VIPs a few questions. I reviewed slick wraps. It is a protective wrap for your devices. I actually like it more than I thought I would. I have it on my phone right now. I did a review of my Garmin Forerunner 310 XT, which is my GPS watch. Halloween was yesterday. I posted my angel shoot where I dressed up like Veronica back there. <laughs> I posted a few images for everyone and a bunch of images for my VIPs, plus a video for them where I talked about the inspiration for the shoot and some setup details. The Snapchick Friday morning rewind last week was from a shoot a couple of years ago called Double Trouble. It had to do with a mirror and it kind of makes me want to do another one with a mirror. And then this week, the rewind was from a shoot right after I got my MacBook Pro that I use and I posed with it in the photos. I'm already working on some things for next week. It's first Sunday this weekend where we all try to pull back from worrying about the technical side of photography and concentrate more on the artistic side. And then we all share our photos on my Facebook page. I created a new term, the DCI. You'll have to watch the video next week to find out exactly what it is. I do proclaim a new holy trinity of photography in it though. I have a photographer in mind to share with you in a behind the artist video. A few weeks ago, I posted a video on my lighting setups. Next week, I'm working on a video on speed lights where I talk about the benefits and drawbacks of them and show you different ways to use them in and out of the studio. I actually have a shoot in mind to show you how great they are to use in small spaces. Oh, and Nikon is introducing a new camera this week. I'm interested to see which of the rumors are right and which aren't. In the description of this video, you will find a link to this video's blog post on snaptrick.com. In that post, you'll find links to all of the stuff that I've done in the last couple weeks. You'll also find links to all of the products that I've talked about, like that Nikon 58 millimeter lens. If you want to keep up with me, follow me on Facebook for updates. If you haven't found me there, search for Snapchick. And I'll talk to you guys next week.